In this video, we're going to take a look at the toolbar and the options that are available to us. Whenever you first launch Photoshop, you'll notice the interface and it can seem a bit overwhelming and daunting when you first start working with Photoshop. But our goal through this training series is to really remove the uh, fear of God from you, so to speak, so that uh, you can be very comfortable in using and working with the tools. And the, the primary focus that we want to take a look at related to the tools is the toolbar, which by default is installed on the left-hand side in a single column over here. And then across the top, you notice that there is a secondary uh, set of controls, and that is for uh, each tool that's available to us. So if I click on the Move tool, you'll notice that the uh, options across the top here change. Same with the Marquee tool. If I select the Marquee tool, you'll notice again that these options change. And so the options across the top are dedicated specifically to each tool, depending on which one we choose. You'll also notice that in the lower right hand corner of many of the tools, matter of fact, nearly all of the tools, there's a small arrow pointing to the lower right. Whenever you left mouse click and hold that, it brings up additional tools that are related to that specific tool. So in this case, you can see where we have the rectangular marquee tool, the elliptical marquee tool, the single row marquee tool, and the single column marquee tool. And by default, the rectangular tool is the one chosen. If you want to switch, say, to the elliptical tool, you just uh, move your cursor until that's the one highlighted and release it. And now that is the primary tool that's selected. You'll notice that it's also showing up here in the top. And uh, there are no tool presets. Some of the tools you'll find actually have presets that are available uh, to you that you can use. Like for instance, if I choose the brush tool and then click on it up here, you'll notice that it has 2B, um, airbrush, soft round, 50% flow. These are presets. Um, very often, I never use those presets because there's so much more control that we have over many of the tools. Like for instance, we can uh, choose different brushes here. We can set the size, the hardness, and so on. And we're going to look at that in another video later on. But another thing that I want to point out here about the toolbar interface is that you actually have some flexibility as far as position. Okay, uh, here in the upper left hand corner, you'll notice two arrows. And whenever you click on those, it will change the, the toolbar layout format from a single column to a double column. And depending on your workflow and what you're comfortable with, this can actually uh, perhaps work better for you. Another uh, option that you have with the toolbar and actually with all of the different uh, workspace uh, bars that are available to you is that you'll notice that there's a series of dark rectangles here. And if you left mouse click and hold your left mouse key down and drag, it separates the toolbar from the interface so that you can then position it anywhere you like. And as a matter of fact, uh, you can actually drag it over here to the right hand side and you'll notice how you have the vertical blue line that shows that it wants to dock to the right hand side um, workspace windows that are there. And so if I release my mouse, it snaps it into this workspace. Okay. If I decide, you know what, I don't really like it there. I can, uh, again, click on the dark rectangles, drag it out. And if I so choose, move back over to the left hand side and you'll notice the blue vertical a bar appears again, I can release it and it'll lock it back into the interface. So that's our toolbars. As we go through the video uh, series here, we're going to look at many of these and how they work in detail. Um, but for now, I wanted to introduce you to those. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the various workspaces that are available to us.